Ayan, good morning po. So, I would like to show you how I set up my 3000D, Canon 3000D uh, partner po, ang uh, OBS to record and to stream yung pong aming mga Sunday services to Facebook Live. So, my gear, Canon 3000D as I said. And then, my lens po na ginagamit is the Tamron 70 to 300mm. So, let's go to the setting nung pong camera okay po let's go to our camera setting so first let's go to our video setting so video mode so turn nyo lang pin up and then pag pinundot natin tong Q button o yung quick menu button quality po natin is 1920 by 1080p and then yung frame rate na ginagamit natin ay 24 frames per second. So, yung iba, 1280 or 720p by 60. Yeah. Pero ako po, ang gusto ko is yung 24 frames per second. Kasi ito yung mas natural sa mata natin. Pero pwede nyo rin pong piliin tong 30 frames per second. So, pero ako po, I recommend using 24 frames per second. ISO, ito po depende dun sa liwanag ng lugar. So, sa amin, uh, maganda po sa amin is 400 to 800. Pero kung talaga pong madilim yung area, you can bump it up to 1600 or 3200. Pero side note po, kapag ka po tayo ay nagtataas ng ISO, mas nag introduce tayo ng noise. So, safe na po itong uh, 800 to 1600. Pero kung kaya pa natin ibaba, talaga mag-invest tayo sa, sa lights, we can use 400 or 200 sa ibang pagkakataan. So, let's just go to 800. Bakit po importante itong frame rate? Ito pong 24 dito kasi pag pumunta tayo dito, ayan, so let's press the display. Ang ideal po, kung ano yung frame rate mo, dodobli ka dito sa shutter speed itong number dito. Dahil 24 po tayo, so gawin natin siyang 50. Dapat 48. Pero dahil walang 48, 40 lang, and then 50. Let's go for the next best thing, which is yung 50. Pinakamalapit. Ito pong pangalawang number na makita nyo, 4.0. Ito po yung aperture na tinatawag. Okay? So, ang gusto po natin sa aperture, as low as possible. Paano ma-adjust yan? So, you can press and hold ito pong AV button. And then, turn the knob. Pag ginagalaw po natin, so, yung 4.0 na tumataas. Mentras pong tumataas ito, mas lahat na puputin to focus. Pero, dumidilim yung image. So, kung gusto natin ng malinaw, talag malinaw, tapos may blurry background ng konti, gusto natin i-isolate ng konti yung speaker natin o yung song leader, we want to use as low as 4.0 o kung ano yung kayang i-allow nung unit natin o nung lens natin. So, yan. After po nyan, pwede natin ikabit yung pong camera natin sa ating PC. So, first po, let us connect our audio do sa PC natin. So, kami yung ginagamit namin from our uh, mixer gamit po yung USB cable. So, yun yung source ng ating audio. Next po, using itong ating cables. So, USB type A to mini USB ata. Ayan. So, to connect natin yung pong DSLR sa ating uh, laptop. And then, pag nakabit nyo na po, go to video mode again. Okay po. Pagkakabit natin, let's go to OBS. Pagdating sa OBS, automatically po, madidetect ni OBS yung nakikita ni DSLR. So, let's go to setting. Ayan po. Let's go to setting. Okay. So, sa setting po, Simulan natin sa stream setting. So, depende kung saan nyo po gusto ng stream yung pong inyong video. So, sa context natin, sa Facebook. So, 
Facebook Live. Ito. So, sa dropdown menu, click nyo lang po yung Facebook Live. And then, yung pong stream key, makukuha nyo po yun sa Facebook page nyo. So, pag binuksan nyo yung Facebook page nyo, and then you go to live, makikita nyo po doon, stream key, use camera, ano tayo, pero just get the stream key from there, copy nyo po, and then, paste nyo po dito sa stream key. Okay, so, ang Facebook po can only, we can only stream at 720p. Okay, so, gusto natin highest quality possible. So, gawin po natin, i-check natin to ignore streaming services. Kasi kapag uh, hindi natin to kayong leak, yung recording natin and streaming natin will be downsized, uh, downscaled to 720p. Eh, dahil nagre-record din po tayo, gusto natin, mas malinaw yung ating pong recording, local recording, for future editing. Hindi po ba? And then, click nyo lang to. Tapos, mamaya natin i-adjust sa next setting po natin. Let's go to, sa output natin, go to streaming. Ito pong tab na to, streaming. You can choose po, dito sa encoder, ito po sa amin dahil kami po ay naka AMD na GPU o graphics card. So, pinili ko lang po itong H264 AVC encoder, AMD. Pero kung kayo po ay naka NVIDIA na graphics card, you can choose that. It is also great. Mas maganda po yun. Kung hindi po ganun ka-capable yung pong ating graphics card o mga built-in graphics card lang, you can choose always your CPU, which is yung H264. So, and then, let's rescale the output. Rescale po output to 720p. Check nyo po ito, and then choose 720p. 1280 by 720p. Bakit po? Kasi kung hindi tayo ang magda-downscale, si Facebook ang magda-downscale, mas marami po yung mawawalang data. Mas hindi siya ganun kalinaw. Preset, just leave it blank. Quality preset, you can choose between speed, kung mabagal talaga internet, yung balance ng quality and then speed. Pero dahil gusto natin quality yung napapakinggan nila at napapanood nila, so let's go for quality. Gusto po natin yung bitrate natin is constant. Hindi nagbabago yung pong bitrate na pinoproduce natin, yung pinapump natin sa labas. Okay. And then, target bitrate, we put it at 6,000 kbps or 6 mbps. Pero kung mabagal po yung internet, you can go as low as 2,500. Pero, malaki na po yung difference ni 2,500 kbps at 6,000 kbps. Okay? Then, let's go to recording. You can skip this part kung hindi po kayo nag-record. Pero, as for me, I recommend, let us record so make we can archive it and then we can do post-production at a later date. So, type, standard. Default lang po yun. Recording path, you can choose wherever you want. So, click nyo lang po ito. Browse nyo lang kung saan nyo gusto mo store. Pwede sa C drive nyo, sa D drive, or kung meron ka external SSD. Recording format is MP4 for my taste. A good balance of size to quality ratio is good. Tapos po, yung iba naman, they prefer MKV. So, in case of mag-shutdown yung desktop, magkaroon ng brownout o mahugot yung kung ano man na matay yung power supply. Pag MP4 na, hindi na natin marerecover. Unlike po sa MKV, marerecover nyo pa yung files na nire-record nyo. Ang downside lang po kay MKV, kailangan mo pa siyang render ulit just to have it as MP4. Okay? So, encoder, you can have it at H.264, uh, AVC encoder tulad ng sa stream natin, or H.265. H.265, higher quality, lower, uh, si uh, lower file size, pero mas mahirap siyang i-edit. Okay? Mas mahirap po siyang i-edit. And then, or you can choose your CPU. Okay. Pero, for me, gusto ko po itong H264 AVC AMD. 
And then, risk, check nga lang po to, just to make sure na ang recording po natin locally is 1080p. Quality preset and indistinguishable recording. Uh, you can always, kung hindi po ganun kalaking storage natin, you can choose recording. Or high quality recording. Pero kung meron po kayong storage left, maganda pa yung storage size natin, you can always go for indistinguishable recording. Uh, dito pong near lossless, talagang malinaw. Pero napakalaki po ng file size. So I go for indistinguishable recording. Then quality preset again speed at then speed balance quality let's go for quality and then key frame interval just leave it at 2.00 punta tayo sa advanced settings so sa advanced settings po uh, render renderer natin direct 3D11 so default lang color format Kung stream na stream lang po kayo, you can always pick NV12. Mas pagan sa system natin yun. Pero I like RGB for our color format. And then color space is sRGB. Yung iba, 709. So, depende po sa taste nyo. Pero I go for sRGB. Mas, mas color accurate for my taste. Then color range, you can choose full. Yung iba, partial. And then... Click OK. And then, that's it. Yun po yung setting natin for my Canon 3000D. Canon 3000D and OBS setting. So, salamat po. Sana nakatulong.